I found an old rotary phone. It's delightfully mechanical with the dial, bell, and handset. I couldn't resist opening it up, and once inside, couldn't resist adding a Raspberry Pi. Adding modern electronics to a device from 1970 might seem like a waste of time, but what I found was a series of real-world challenges solved by technologies we've explored in this course. So let's spend a few sessions solving the problems that pop up when we graft a Raspberry Pi to a mechanical device, such as this old phone. Hi, I'm Mark Neiman Ross, and welcome to this week's edition of Raspberry Pi Weekly. Every week, we explore the Raspberry Pi and share useful tips. My first thought was to locate a schematic diagram for the phone, which identified switches, transformers, speakers, microphones, lights, and dials. And I found one, but quickly realized it was useless. I decided to gut the phone of any old circuitry and interface directly to the components. This actually simplified the project and removed the need for a schematic. Of course, this means I'll never be able to use the phone on the standard telephone network, but I doubt that'll be a problem. After some reading and exploration with a voltmeter, I identified three switches. First, the handset, or hook, the rotary dial, and a switch known as off normal that's located underneath the dial. It indicates when the dial is not at rest. I ran wires from these switches to a small breadboard that fits inside the phone. If you're ambitious, you could replace this breadboard with a Raspberry Pi Zero. I then ran a wire from the breadboard to a second breadboard. This breadboard then connects to my Raspberry Pi. I've included a simple diagram that shows how this is all wired. It's a simple manner to write some software to read the switches. The program I wrote is in the example files for this session. It understands when the phone is off the hook and when the phone is being dialed. The only tricky part of the software is understanding the pulses coming from the rotary dial. In line 17, you'll see a function that counts these pulses and returns the number dialed. This is the easy part of this phone. In future sessions, we'll look at the ringer, the microphone, and the speaker. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Raspberry Pi Weekly. Be sure to join the LinkedIn group and check out previous episodes on LinkedIn Learning. I'll see you next week with more Raspberry Pi adventures.